toy that brought smiles, lots of laughter to thousands of children all over the world in the 80s. It's making a major comeback. You can find the colorful rag doll affectionately named Strawberry Shortcake in local toy stores like Ida Red right here in Tulsa. Yeah, carefully crafted sketch later became a multi-million dollar licensing deal and the designer lives right here in Tulsa. 2 News Oklahoma senior reporter Sharon Phillips sat down with Muriel Ferrion to talk about why she says she's famous but not rich. Muriel Ferrion was working as a greeting card artist back in 1977 when her art director came to her and said he needed a rag doll. He wanted the colors to be pink, red and green and he wanted the doll to feature a very specific fruit. With that being her only direction, Strawberry Shortcake was born. Muriel Ferion loves it when people are surprised to learn who she is and what she has created. I love when they come up and there's like sophisticated women, you know, business women, whatever, and if there's a lull in the conversation, I'll say, do you want to know why I'm famous but not rich? And they go, why? I said, I'll give you some hints. Strawberry shortcake carriers and get along game. No way! <laughs> With her cheerful demeanor. I say, way. And magnetic smile. It's easy to see how Ferion was able to design a doll that brought so much joy and comfort to millions of children all over the world. In the first two years, it made a half a billion dollars back then, back in the 80s. Although she designed Strawberry Shortcake and other popular characters like the Care Bears, we Care Bears, and the Get Along Gang, <laughs> she is quick to point something out. I do not own the copyrights to that or the Care Bears or the Get Along Gang. The copyright holders uh, own it. She says life is too short for litigation, and she is currently focused on running her own studio and headlining pop culture events. I love my followers, actually. I call them my Care Bears. I think I have the best followers ever. The rebounding popularity of the doll doesn't surprise local store owner Angeline Wright. Kids today are finding about the strawberry shortcake all over again, which is really fun as someone that grew up in the 80s to see the retro toys coming back um, all over again. Wright says she struggled to keep the doll on her shelves during the holidays. She smells great. <laughs> Um, I find that a lot of parents are buying it for their kids. It's the same reason that I'm loving it, is it just reminds them of good times. Ferion says she is proud to have designed a doll that continues to foster imagination and good values all over the world. The classic is back because the mothers had them, and the grandmothers had them, and so they want their children to enjoy the play they enjoy. If you would like to meet Muriel and have her sign your Strawberry Shortcake memorabilia, she will be at Strawberry Shortcake Day at Ida Red on Brookside in June. Sharon Phillips, 2 News, Oklahoma.